I put a screenshot right there, pic, so you can see her Facebook page. Because uh, I know it says on there, Delicia Demaya. Uh, but her family member that paid me to do this reading is saying Delicia Evans. So oh, I'm getting chills all over. She's the one. She was in uh, St. Louis. Last week, uh, her boyfriend had been stalking her. And he kidnapped her, took her from the house, set the house on fire, was with her. And I don't know how the police got involved, but there was a high-speed chase. And he was uh, going back and forth with the police. The one, I think it might have been some shooting involved. He refused to stop. And there was an accident with her in the car, but he had taken the children to school, I think, dropped them off earlier that morning or something. And the family is thinking she might have been in that car dead. And they wanted me to look at it, or one of the family members wanted me to look at it, and I was just on the phone with them. I cannot believe that this day has gone by. I've been so tied up. So I wanted to take a break from the uh, Rich Homie Kwan, because this, whoo, we're going to get back into it, though. Um, hey, babies, I love all of you all. Thank you all for loving and supporting me. I'm uh, waiting for my assistant to come in here. She'll put the link for donations for you. Because, you know, I like to ask for donation and big and she, You know, that's me. And tell your lies. She gave me permission. Yes, baby. It was in St. Louis last week. Hey, Lizette. And uh, uh, they, they still have the body right now. I think they've done the autopsy, but they won't let the family see the physical body. Because I was asking about things. She was telling me she was damaged and she was dead. Or she was dying over a period of hours because he beat her and he tortured her. She was in that car struggling. He was very cruel to her. Uh, from what I'm understanding, he was much taller and bigger than her. I'll show his picture. Bigger than her. This guy was a... He's very intelligent, but he's an extreme narcissist and extremely cold. If this is some funny shit here that I'm seeing, but I'm going to say it anyway. And I just told it to the family. I, I, I spoke and like I told them, I'm, I'm willing to be wrong about this. But for some reason, I am seeing, because she was a beautiful young woman. I think she's on 30 years old. Beautiful body. Um, Had had some enhancements to the body and BBL and... I was on a three-way. I don't quite remember which relative I was talking to, but we had a little back and forth, and I don't mind when people get upset with me or call me a liar. I know you don't know me, but she said I wasn't calling you a liar uh, because I said that she didn't have a nine-to-five, and she's like, that's a lie. She did have a nine-to-five. She, were, I said, no, last week when she was when she was murdered, at the time of her death, she did not have a nine-to-five. She's like, well, she had one before. I said, I'm talking about last week. And she admitted, no, she didn't. It's been two years since she had a 95. But yet, this lady's bossed up like a motherfucker. Brand new house, brand new car, drive uh, Maseratis, Ferrari. I said, no. She didn't get that from no goddamn 9 to 5. She had a business and she had a tax service. And from what I'm seeing, there were rings within that. I'm the I'm just going to say what I felt, and I'm willing to be wrong. She had ring, There were rings within that service, hustling rings. And I see an older woman gave her the game. And when an older woman gave her the game about the tax services and running them, this older woman then got so jealous of this young woman, 30, doing better than her or doing just as good. She scared she was going to supersede her. Good-looking girl. Smart girl, had her own tax company, tax services. I'm not sure if she had one or was she expanding into another. They were running scams in her ring. I'm seeing bank fraud, credit fraud, check fraud, tax fraud, social security numbers, fake social security numbers, people working in banks, people working on the dark web, stealing people's identities, uh, getting taxes from them, dead people's taxes, goddammit, uh, 
fraudulent social security numbers and shit. I'm seeing all of this ran connected to her tax service. I'm seeing prostitution. I'm seeing drug smuggling, trafficking use. These people set this lady up. This lady got so jealous of her and this guy getting on her. That is also suspicious to me because what she's telling me is one of her so-called mentors or best friends sit this nigga on this lady, this psychotic motherfucker that murdered her last week and it was with a high speed chase with the police while this woman is half dead, dying in the SUV. Why don't I have speed chasing? And I, all I hear him saying, I ain't going back. I ain't going back to prison. I will kill this bitch and shoot some of the police and kill myself before I go back. And I, I asked, I said, what is, what is this? Was this guy in prison? She said, yeah, he did 10 years. I said, that's what, that's what, that's him then. Cause he's saying, I'm not going back. I'm not going back to prison. I will kill myself before I go to prom. I'm going to kill you, bitch. But I'm going to kill you first though, to make sure your ass dead. So you can't be with nobody else and throw your ass in that circle for another nigga. I'm going to kill your ass and make sure you can't go on without me. And I'm going to kill my ass so we could be together. He said, before I can let these police just pick my ass, they're going to pick me up dead. This is what I heard him saying. I heard her being, she was terrified. She's like, I'm being tortured by him. He beat me and he tortured me and I'm hurting. And she showed me the left side of her body. I said, was she burnt up? Why is her skin look like it burnt or missing or off? It's raw on the left side. I see her face, left side of her head, head knocked in, the back of her head, and neck. I'm wondering if her, her neck bone damage, her chest bone damage, her face. I'm like, left torso. I'm like, well, this lady burnt. Like, why did lady's skin ball up, burn up, peel off? It's hanging down. She's showing me her left side of her body. She's like, drip, I don't know. We know that he set the inside of the house on fire before they left, but she was with him. We don't know if she was dead or alive. It looked like if this lady wasn't dead, she was halfway there because she was bruised. Her skin was peeled. She showed me it was raw. It was bald. I like it was burnt up or, or, or balled up. But you know how when somebody get burnt, like the skin look, look drawed up and withered up like and you can see the underneath the pink or burnt depending on how many degrees second third degree it was white up under there and fucked up I, was she also shot was she i know she was beaten i know she was tortured was she shot i don't know about the stabbing but i'm kind of wondering is either shot stabbed or or these are bruises and contusion and skin off is skin missing and, and in the face and head and neck fucked up skin that's all the way down in the middle of the torso area and on the left, it was off. She said, I don't know. We haven't seen her. When she called me today at the S on the phone, she said, we up here with a body. They want to let us see it. One of my relatives seen it. I thought maybe she got to examine it. She saw a picture. They wouldn't let her get close to it. They're going to send it to the morgue. I'm sure they'll be able to see it in person. They showed it on pictures. She said, Drip, on the left side of her body, the skin was missing. I said, what? She said, some skin missing on the left side of her head. They got the hair shaved off her whole head. Got a big old gash down in the left side of her head. Left side of her face, skin missing. So the left side of her body, skin missing. Yes, baby, she got they, She put that there so where y'all can. Y'all hit the cash up. Try to send me something live to see if it go through this time, babies. She said, just like you said, it's on the left. I said, what a head shape for? She said, I, they must have went it. She says, a big gash up in the left side of her head and side of her face, skin off. Down on her torso, skin off. I said, did they tell you how? She said, they won't get in no detail because they said it's an ongoing investigation, but it's just like you said, it's missing. Skin on the outside, toe off. I said, God damn. He did this here. And then I think the truck wrecked and turned over and while the police chased. This nigga killed himself. Now we can't get no justice on the physical side. He, They are in prison. He got her trapped on the other side and he cussing. 
When I seen the other day, you were cussing her out, you dirty bitch. You a hoe and you a fucking prostitute. You won't be with no another nigga. You fucking round on me. You, I didn't do nothing to you. You made me kill you, bitch. You made me do this. She's like, I didn't do nothing to you. Yes, you did, bitch. This is all your fault. Everything I did, bitch, you made me do it. You had me crazy. You provoked me to do this. You want to play these games? You had my head fucked up. You want to fuck around. You want to play games. You want to push me away. I've been spying on you, bitch. I've been tracking you because this guy is a tech geek. So he was so good in black, the black web, the dark web and scheming on people and setting people up and putting cameras on them and then having bitches run in on them and fuck them and then they marry and shitty blackmail them and say, yeah, you going to give us this certain amount of money or you then show them tape. You want your wife to hear this? You want your wife to see you getting your dick sucked and fucking these bitches in the hotel room? You didn't know we had... This is the kind of guy this is. Extremely intelligent. Real good with conning and scamming and IDs and fake IDs and this guy's cold as fuck. He don't care nothing about nobody but himself. A supreme narcissist, a sociopath, and a goddamn psychopath. Because this guy has murdered people before. And he's beat women up before. I'm going to show you his picture. You can see his page. You can see videos of him. Tall guy, long dreads, chocolate. He's a charming guy. He come off on you, then you think he's so nice and sweet and nice, then beat your damn ass. Or choke your ass out, torture your motherfucking ass, disfigure. He wanted to disfigure this girl because she had a beautiful face, beautiful body. And she knew how to dance and shake that ass. And when she shake it, they're coming to the door, them niggas come down salivating tongue out. All out their mouth and they want to give us stuff, do us stuff. He wanted her to trick niggas and run scam. But you, he loved her or was uh, obsessed and on drugs and fascinated with her, but then you hate her and you resent her at the same time. See, y'all got to get away from men when they show you that I'm fascinated with you. I think you're beautiful. You, they nice to you one minute and they mean to you because they got uh, they, they got divided and conflicted in their mind. So he had a love-hate relationship with her, but he was obsessed with her and didn't want her to leave and didn't want her to be with nobody else and didn't want nobody else to have her. He was stalking her. She couldn't get away from him. But what I'm telling you is one of her so-called mentors or friends was fucking this guy first and had a deal with this guy and put him on her to make it look like he was in love with her and set her up, get her stuff, like forge it or turn it over in his name or something, con a killer, take it. I'm seeing a woman that was fucking her over and then I'm seeing another Woman she didn't know about that was dealing, she was dealing with this guy that was married or getting this guy money or finessing this guy. And this lady put a death spell on her. And the one that was close to her was doing magic against her, secretly hated her, but act like she loved her. That was in a tax business with her that was doing tax fraud scam, reporting one amount to the IRS higher than what the person got or different names and different socials and shit again, large amounts. And then it was the IRS put a ping or a, a alert on this and it came back on this girl that was murdered and she found a so-called friend was running taxes the in that and set it up. They just confirmed it for me. I said, I know y'all gonna think this crazy, but it was a female working with it that was older. They gave her the game and turned around and fucked her. They said, we know who you're talking about because it was a tax game about a year ago. It came but they thought she did it. And she had to deal with some kind of payment or problem with the IRS. They, this lady tried to put it off on her, but they fell out about it and stopped speaking. I said, was she older? She said, yes. I said, that's one of the ones I need to see. Now, they have one all around now acting like she a friend, want to handle this girl funeral arrangements and shit. And I'm like, how is that when she ain't even a fucking beneficiary? I said, she's in there to cover her ass and make sure y'all don't find out about the dirty shit in the rings within the ring underneath the black market shit going on within this lady's legitimate tax business. This is what I'm saying. It was a setup where well, she was supposed to set her up. She was going to get with this guy that killed her and they split the girl money while the girl dead. Forged it, had legal name, but illegal under the table, had it in other name and aliases and shit. What are going to come in and then claim this girl's stuff 
with illegal deeds or notaries or agreements. They had it all put together. For some reason, this guy, it, he, he didn't mean to get this far, but like they had magic on him and fucked him up in the head. He actually got obsessed with this woman and was on drugs and psychotic. He wasn't supposed to murder himself. It wasn't supposed to go like this, but looked like the woman was setting both of them up. So she decided, hey, let me kill two birds with one stone. And so that way that'll cover my ass in case this motherfucker get back called and don't want to go. He implicate. Uh, look, I know this sound like some movie shit that I'm telling y'all. But this is, I know this sound crazy. It sound crazy to me. But I'm still going to say this anyway. And I start bringing it to them. They started knowing who the fuck I'm talking about. And then, you know, one of them, she apologized. She's like, look. I did not get mad at you. I apologize. You took it that way. I said, well, I know you don't know me. And I know that a lot of people don't trust so-called psychics. I'm a medium and they consider them con. I think I'm like, she said, no, I don't. I trust. I believe in this. I know you're not lying. I said, tell me this. If you think, I said, because you don't know her and she didn't tell you her secret life, even though you was relatives. I'm saying things you don't even know nothing about. But some of it she did. Uh, well, she, she, she said, no, she didn't have a nine to five when she died. She had a tax service. I said, so why am I a liar then? She said, I didn't say he was lying. I'm just saying that she did have a 9 to 5. I said, when she died last week? Because I don't see that. She said, no. But two years ago, I said, that's what I said. I said, she, I didn't say she never had one. I said, she didn't have one right now. This was some other shit going on. She didn't want y'all in it. She didn't want y'all to know. I, but she's a money getter though, God damn it. I said, look, I'm not saying that bad about it because I don't see she fuck with no kids or no kid ring or no sex trap with no ring or nothing like that. I said, but she was a grown woman getting the money. But I'm telling you, some of this shit wasn't on the up and up. She had legitimate and leg illegitimate business under load you don't know about with bitches that had rings. Older women that gave her the game. She won't tell y'all. She didn't want y'all to know that. She didn't want to implicate you all. It's best that you didn't know. But I'm sticking by what I said. I see, you know, people do this to me all the time. You lying. You don't know what I'm talking about. I, I, I'm lying. I said, but the thing is, you don't know, but I know. And she didn't. She, she had finally admitted. I said, so why you act like you did? She didn't have no tech serve and deal with tech. You said, I didn't know what I was talking about. Well, yeah, she did have tech. But the, I said, okay. I said what I said. I don't care if you hang up, get mad, whatever. I'm tired. When people do that to me now, if I feel like I'm right, I'm not backing down. Especially if I know that you don't know what I'm talking about. You don't know your relative like you think you do. And she admitted she didn't. I said, let me ask you something. Because this is what she's just telling me to prove to you that I'm talking to her. Do you know anything about her breast? And did she have a damaged breast? Did she ever had breast surgery? Body surgery? She said, yes. I said, did she have breast implants? Because she's showing me breast implants and I'm seeing a serial number. That will determine if I'm a liar or if I'm talking to the wrong person that's not your relative. She says she had breast implants. I said, I am talking to your relative and that's why I refuse to back down. Because how would I know? I don't know you. I, you just got on the phone five minutes ago. And you didn't tell me nothing like that. And the other girl on the phone didn't tell me nothing like that. That paid for the read. That hooked me up on here. I don't know if she knew or whatever I said. She said, yes, she did. I said, that's who I'm talking to then. What I'm saying is true. You just don't know. I'm standing on all 10. You can get mad and hang up. It's fine with me. And she's like, look, sweetheart. I said, no, you look, sweetheart. My name is Alexis. Don't, don't talk to me in a condescending way. Because I know that you don't know what I know because she didn't tell you. And I know that's who I'm talking to. Because she said, tell them something that there's no way you could know. And that she knew about the breast. Because she showed me, I saw, I see the serial number. Everybody knows. When you, when somebody's missing and you find somebody dead, and you might not be able to identify them or to be sure, you either get their teeth impressions, or if they got anything on them, like implanted, they pop it out, and everything's implanted has a serial number. I didn't know that. This woman told me about her tears. She's asking about my tears. I said, okay. Like I said, I said what I said. This girl, this woman was set up. And there's something about the way she bounce her ass and shake her ass and twerk her ass that made 
this other woman in rage, but the other woman was also in love with her, like in a bisexual hookup. You know, I um, don't like to, the only reason I'm saying this in public, because she said I could. This shit sound like some Lifetime movie shit, but this shit is real. That's where they get all these things from. This shit be stranger than fiction. This woman was in love with this lady and obsessed with this lady, wanted her for herself but couldn't have her. But at the same time, hated her because she was obsessed and extremely jealous of her and they fell out. About one of these goddamn it scam with these taxes, and the IRS, goddamn it, and this this refund shit that this lady was doing and making agreement with other customers to get them money and and padding and, and and increasing the amount of income that they really didn't fucking have. Had been doing that shit, but it was flagged, and it went back to the woman that was murdered last week. This guy was in it with this woman, and it was a lover. And had been screwing other young women running scams like this and setting up niggas. And this woman wanted to set up this girl. But he didn't mean, like he went crazy. See, somebody can put a spirit on you to make you lose your goddamn mind. Now, and they, see, let me tell you, when somebody kills themselves, they are not at peace and at rest. And when they kill another person that she didn't want to be with him over here, the girl got in a restraining order. But she clearly didn't call the police after she got this trainer order. He would still come by and be up under her. So clearly she was scared of him. I don't know if he pulled the gun on her. And he took, he set the house on fire and took her with him. They dropped the kids off. I don't know why she didn't slip down 911. Or somebody must have died to see that they were on the highway. After she... Five of restraining order, this guy was still coming around her, and I heard her telling him in private conversations, and this is what she didn't tell the family. She still liked this guy. It was something about this guy. He would play on her, and she would feel sorry for him. She cared for him. A part of her liked him, but a part of her was terrified of him. He knew how to play the victim. He played on her heartstrings. That's how he got back close enough to do what he did. And he said, if I cannot have you, why, if you just, why, why are you, you just say you, you don't want me. Just tell me you want me and you want to be with me and, and I won't kill you. This will be okay. It will be. And then he go from that to bitch, I'll kill you now. And then hit her, attack her. This guy is going back and forth up. This guy's sick. She knew it, and she felt like she couldn't get away. He told her she would, he would not get away. I will follow you. There's no way you're going to get away from me. She was so afraid of him, and she felt like the police couldn't protect her. Because he would always magically know where she was, and I'm telling you, he knew where she was because he's a tech geek. He would have her under surveillance, a tracker somewhere on her. She not know have somebody in the area where she was, know where she was, know what state she was, while he's sitting in the same state watching her. She's somewhere else. He's watching all the fucking fucking video video feed. She's not even knowing. That's how tech savvy this guy is. And a con artist, uh, he is. And um, he would threaten her one minute, beat her one minute, nice to her the next, see what you made me do. He's not taking responsibility. Even on the other side, people are not at rest when somebody murders them. And then they murder themselves. He's up under her on the other side. She's still saying, I don't want you. I want to get away from you. She can't even get away from him over there. And now he's saying, what the fuck did I do? He doesn't want to be there. I don't know where his body is or if his family, because I don't know if his family is talking to her family. He doesn't want to be there. And now he wants to be back over here. It's like, what did I do? Why did I do this? I'm telling you, when these people on the other side, they're not dead like you think. It's just the physical body is rotting. But the real them is now up out of the body. They can see, they hear, they know what they've done. They know where they're at. He's stuck and he wants to be back here. She's terrified because she doesn't want to be anywhere near him. She's worried about her children. She's worried about her life. Her mother's going through it. Her mother couldn't even talk to me. 
on the phone today when I tried to talk to her. The mother said, I just, I can't, dude, I, let mom go. Let mom go. I'm not upset because I know the mom's going back and forth and has some mental issues before this happened. So I know the mother's dealing with other things. I, I did not take it personally. So I couldn't talk to the mother. The mother couldn't uh, the mother couldn't handle it mentally and couldn't stay on the phone. So I respected that the other relatives got on the phone that could talk to me. And uh, she's haunting the mother because the mother has some guilt and the mother has some other mental and emotional issues and she wasn't the best mother. So when I see that and they can't talk to me and they want to go, I understand it and respectably, respectfully let them get on the phone. See, I, you know, I'm to the point now I've been through this so much and been called a liar so much or you don't know what you're talking about. And I'm like, no, you don't know what you're talking about because you don't really know the secrets. I know because now this person is outside of the body telling me things they said you don't know. And then when I ask them, you don't know. I said, it's like I just said. So are you sure I'm lying? Because you don't even know what I'm talking about. Because this person that, that's your relative didn't tell you all their business. So I don't even take it personally anymore. But if I believe I'm right, I will not back down. But I still try to be sensitive when it's a physically dead person. Because I know they're already going through something. But you're still not going to disrespect me, though. You don't have the right to disrespect me. I'm not trying to disrespect them. But sometimes people get mad about what I say about their loved ones that you don't know. And this girl is telling me this stuff. She had a whole secret life, but she was bossed up like a motherfucker. And I have to respect that. And I don't see her taking advantage of any children. I don't see her participating with anybody that took advantage of any children or any sex trafficking or drug to children. No, these were all grown people. That she dealt with and they were all playing this game or got caught up in the game. So I can't blame her for grown men that liked her, that gave her stuff and did stuff for her. You know, but these women, it was women that sick this nigga on her. It was women that was close up, so close. So I see this woman kissing her in the face. Like she love her and I'm older than you. I'm going to give you this game because I respect you. I'm going to see you come up. I'm going to be your mentor. And she taught her her mentee the game and fucked her because she got jealous of her because the girl was so bright, caught on so fast. She was a shooting star and she was to her more attractive. So she brought, raised her up just to cut her throat, but she did it in a way by putting her in a love triangle. This is what I'm seeing and this guy, yeah, I play on her, but he ended up falling for her, became so obsessed with her, then they put this spirit on him. I see some type of Cuban magic here, Santeria Ifa, Santeria mixed with the African, the Cuban and the African. They put it on because that would be the Ifa, and then the Cuban mixing with the Santeria, which is also a mix of the African, dealing with Miami. This is dealing with Florida. Somebody put some on her that been down now. Put, had this nigga fucked up so they could spin it and get this girl stuff and kill. He thought he was going to get out of it with his big lump, hitting a lick on the girl. They ended up flipping the game on him behind his back and then tell him made him off his cell. This is, this is so fucked up. This was a love triangle. A three-way that I'm seeing the woman is ahead of it. And like I told the family, whoever the older women that come around, that work with her, say they love her, them the ones that sent it. Because there's more than one older woman that's got money, financial independent insurance. They're mothers. They set up one of this is the queen of pentacles. One is the nine of pentacles. One is the queen of wands here that I'm seeing set up. This girl was in way above her head and didn't know because it was women that she trusted. And one of these is a psychic and a seer and a witch that did black magic. And there's a man in here, a magician too. Doing magic. That's how they got the money. That's how they hid themselves, cloaked themselves in magic, protected themselves from going down, uh, going to prison, or getting murdered. But this is going to come back because this girl was innocent. Even though she was into these things, this girl was innocent. And uh, they're trying to protect their ring from going to prison and they're trying to see who know what 
or do a family know anything or trying to prevent her family from digging deeper and they wouldn't know where to look anyway because she did not tell them everything she was in. But see, if the police start looking deeper and some of the family members start looking deeper from what I'm telling them, they're going to touch into this stuff and this is dangerous because somebody's going to come up dead, wake up dead, goddammit, or up there and fed, doing club fed, see. This is what I'm seeing they're trying to present. Yep, they in Texas and uh, St. Louis. And uh, But I think they're originally from St. Louis, and some of them live in Texas. She was in Texas. Now they got their body out in St. Louis, and I think they're going to bury in St. Louis. Yep, it's between Texas and St. Louis. This is, this is you're right, this person I'm talking about. Beautiful girl. Got two little girls. I think a four-year-old and a 13-year-old who loved her to death, and she loved and missed them. And they deliberately fucked that girl up and put that girl on the other side with this crazy, stupid-ass nigga. And, and when you're on the other side like that, you can still talk, you can still hear, you can still feel. And they, he's now regretting what he did. And now she saw it. She the one told me about this scam thing. This bitch, she couldn't see it till she got out the body. And started explaining it's a bitch set her up. One she looked up to respect and trust. And one of them, some of them got caught tied to Atlanta. You know, they real big on scamming and stuff down here. And a lot of them come here and set the scams and shit up and scam motherfuckers down here. So, yes, it's the Texas and St. Louis. They, hi, Justin. Hi, baby. Did anybody try to see? Did they try to donate to see if it went through? Uh, I'm going to make sure I get my donations because y'all, I'm tired. They, like I said, people have come to Atlanta, got their products from me. I had to make those from scratch at the last minute. And I got to still pack everything up. You said, oh, yeah, I'm from Texas. I seen she died. Yep. Yep. She was living in Texas, and then he took up. He was up there with in St. Louis, but I think they're gonna have a funeral out there in St. Louis. Uh, I don't think they're gonna bring her back to Texas, and uh, I think our funeral's gonna be next week. It's so sad. That girl's only thirty years old. They they killing people early now. This generation dying early. A lot of them dying early over dumb shit. And jealousy and obsession. They people on drugs and not their goddamn it mind. You, what you said, Nay, 007, you said, oh, okay, yeah, I'm from Texas. I seen she died in Dallas or something. Oh, really? I thought it was, I think she was up there in St. Louis. Correct me if I'm wrong. I think this happened in St. Louis. Her body's in St. Louis. You say they don't. I'm tired of Texas like I've been here, but I'm leaving back to where I was last year. Mm. This is a real dirty. See, a lot of y'all can't trust these women. Even if they help you, a lot of times they help you for a reason. A lot of times in the process of helping you, they'll get mad that you mastered the game. They teaching you better than them and getting bigger than them and don't want you to outshine them and are off your fucking ass. But see, they felt like, you know, they must have known the love life or business she was. Um, it started in Texas when he drove her to St. Louis. Yes, I thought so, Nikki. She was in St. Louis when it happened. Yep, they got a police got a body up there. They they autopsied it up there. I thought so. That's what the relative told me. Where she was living, I think, of Texas. They had a house in Texas, and I think they're going to keep her out there in St. Louis, though they're not going to bring her body back to Texas. And the children with the baby daddy, she was still friends with her baby daddy. He taking care of the children. And handling the insurance. She, they must have been cool with each other still for him to handle this here. And uh, they say even the baby daddy warned her and said, this guy ain't got them all. So when they met him and family members met him, they said something. See, that guy had a spirit on him. He had a woman spirit on him too. I wonder, was he bisexual or was he raped by men in prison? Even though he's a big nigga. He's over six feet tall. Don't matter. A lot of times, them the ones, man, be bending over and bucking like a bitch. Something wrong with him. You said, okay, thank you. I thought so it happened in St. Louis. I know, she's beautiful. Young, 30 years old. Prime of her life. Getting it. And uh, had a beautiful house. He they, It's burnt in the inside, but it's standing still on the outside. And it was hers. Um, he was jealous of all of it. 
I don't know if my assistant let me know. Did anybody donate and did the donations go through? Um, let me know. Mina. Uh, I want to make sure that we have that all straightened out. I have to finish this with uh, Rich. Rich McQuan. I got to finish this here. I see them talking about it now. And people are saying that it's possible he had, he was drinking as well as the pill or it might not have been a pill. He was drinking that lean. But see, they, then some family members said he was off. But I know I saw lean in that house and I seen pills. This guy had poison. He was poison. He had poison in his body. It's so amazing that I said, I knew I saw the relative. I saw the male relative and I saw a friend like a relative in the house. And now the brother admitted he was there and uh, he left. You know, I, the snake keep coming in here. I keep seeing them snakes. That's also connected to Young Thug, but the snakes is connected to uh, Rich Homer Quan as well, which would be Ant. Ant Man, I seen him with them snakes all over him. That same albino snake looked like that one I seen in Nipsey's clip. Them snakes are part of heavy voodoo initiations and protection around these people that wear them. They do rituals on them snakes. Them snake got names and they got spirits on them. He had that big python. That snake won't let me alone. The snake, man, over there's several of them. One that's black with them different colors, red and green and yellow bands on it. It's a smaller snake and them python. Thank you, Latrice. Y'all be keeping me up with stuff. Yeah, I, that's a new one she put up there. Y'all let me know if it's uh if it go through. If not, I'm going to get off here right now and see y'all donate and it go through because I still got to get Rich Homer Kwan his uh, food and the other stuff since they did, did they were sending donations back the other day. I couldn't get everything I needed. So I'm going to set that up and get his, all this food and stuff. I got the candles. I need to get the food or the flowers, things they want. But I told her I was going to do this read, this public read, and do the, to finish the rest of it private as an hour. I put 37 minutes on here. Thank you, baby. Oh, thank you, Johnisha Dawson. Thank you, baby. Thank God. God looking out for me. Somebody smiling down on me. Thank you. So we can get this party started over here, God damn it. And, uh... I, I, I got to, in the next couple of days, I got to get this done instead of, hey, Kim, because, thank you, truth be told, because I got to mail everybody necklaces. Y'all, thank you for patiently waiting. It's hitting me so damn back to back. And when I said these deaths was coming, and Nipsey told me, God damn, you see, they just start raining down. God damn it, I mean, just back to back. And I had, y'all wanted me to get into it and deal with the shit, so I had to deal with it, but Rich Homer Kwan is staying. I think I saw some where the daddy said they're going to let the public come. It's going to be a big funeral. It's going to be a party. It's going to be a celebration. I'm getting chills all over. That's right, dripping nip, goddammit. Our rich homie Quan, this bitch. Quan ain't going nowhere. He want some heads to roll, goddammit. He's mad as fuck. He's, he's had him come down. He see this here, and he want justice because I... Mm. So y'all, he says family members involved in him. Dre. Like he said, like she said, that boy, that nigga in the back. Where Dre at? And I think that might have been the one that picked him up. Anubis is not the only one Nipsey works with. He deals with the underworld because Nipsey is also uh, Horace. You see. He's in the underworld. Taking on the God persona based on his bloodline. He's ours. He's a he's a he's be the son of God. Several things. So it's not, I, I never said he was just with Anubis. If you look at all my old readings, all of them have come to embrace him. I'm doing their rituals with him. Thank you for the two donations that was received during the live. Yes, that's right. Justice for Rich Homer Kwan. 
because uh, ooh, this is a mess. And unfortunately, I know the dad is heartbroken because some of this is internal. But they said the daddy was the manager. So I'm wondering, did the daddy know about his son's struggle? He had to know about his son's struggle with the addiction if he's his manager. Managers know all of your business. Hmm? Um, I haven't. Uh, I ate a salad. Girl, that's all I had. But I wanted to do this because I promised her and she's been waiting for me the few days because... Rich Home and them came here talking and they're still talking. I don't know. Oh, what, what, baby? It's all over the blog, CCB. You saying the people are talking. What they talking about, CC, CCB? It's all over the blog. You said Nipsey received so much love everywhere when he was taken out. Yes, and they still love him and they still keeping his name alive and his legacy alive and his family keeping him alive and his brother. It's so beautiful to be remembered like that, but I know he'd rather be in his body and be here, but he's still working and staying busy. This is just so heartbreaking. And whenever he needs me, he knows I will be here. I will never turn my back on him. I don't care how many years go by when he needs me. And I'm glad that people are still interested in his readings and the messages he's bringing and still love him and play his music and call his name and spread his videos and his motivational quotes. It's absolutely amazing. You say they're talking about how he was on the floor in the kitchen. Thank you, CCB. I know it. I know it. When, when he kept, he said I was somewhere else, he said I failed. And I said, mm, he might. I said, maybe, I don't know if it's just the autopsy or they'll see it in the autopsy. He had a bruise or something on the side of his face. His face was tore bruised or something because he told me fail and he was on the floor and I'm like did he fall down some steps or buy some steps or they picked him up and moved him up the got them in steps or but see that's still strange to me I seen an article somebody sent me today said the baby mama spoke out and said they've been together 15 years you been with him 15 years and you couldn't feel the nigga done fail in the goddamn it kitchen he high and clearly trying to eat them went into got them at comatose and the stuff he got in the system them made him pass out and he's choking because remember yesterday I did a show I said uh, uh, I vomit I said he vomit he was something in his mouth and thought he choked he was vomit and they were in their lungs he couldn't breathe then they said the brother admit it I that's amazing that must be God because I wonder why didn't they his brother and his baby mama, why didn't they agree on putting the same story out? Lord have mercy. He, he helped save my ass, didn't he? Because uh, he's saying, no, he didn't lay down on that sofa. He was on that goddamn floor. I picked him up. But the, So now we know the baby mama's a liar because she said he was... He was laying on the sofa and he was cool. You know, that's what he always do. And I put the blanket on because his body was cool. You knew. <laughs> Ain't God good. <laughs> she knew he didn't lay on that sofa. She knew he was moved. That boy was dead. I, see, didn't I tell y'all he died Wednesday? And he said he, he picked him up. He saw him at 3 a.m. Thursday morning. So that meant he was dead before he saw him at 3 a.m. The number three, that nominati. But see, all through your body, blow like a 12 gauge shot. Feel me. Uh, hell, Mary, nigga. You see what I told you? He, This had happened. He told me Wednesday. Wednesday. But why would his brother leave? That doesn't. Why didn't you did? Why you didn't dig the food out his throat and out his mouth and try to resuscitate him and dial nine one one? Why did y'all wait till later Thursday in the daytime? It's it's just like I told y'all that man had said. That they did that. He said were dead on that stuff. And she. You been with him 15 years and you didn't know that? Nobody. They knew that man was an undercover junkie. A functioning addict to work. Not just a junkie. 
he had to take it to function and got addicted. It was tearing him up. So we're going to eventually tear him up anyway. He wasn't going to be able to keep on going on. Uh, what do you mean, Roro? Tell us everything he said. Did Did you donate, Roro? Because I've done a lot of information on, on this man and done several readings on this man. And the stuff I've said has always already come out to be proven that I am talking to him. So if you if, if you didn't hit my cash app and help her get a BBL and make it clap, please don't tell me to tell you nothing else. Don't don't disrespect me like that. Because I've told a lot. I'm sure other people have read it as well. Don't do that. Men are creatures of habit, she knew. Yeah, CCP, how could she be with him 15 years and not feel that downstairs, not feel her knicker? You've been fucking him for 15 years and you didn't feel this man. He should have been integrated in you and you integrated in him. Where you so close to him spiritually and sexually with your sex ties and your spirit ties. You got two babies by him. That you feel him no matter where he is in the world. See, y'all didn't have a spiritual sexual relationship. Because you in the house with him at the time. And you couldn't feel this man is dead down there. With food jammed up in his throat and mouth. Mm. And then you got up and lied to the 911 dispatcher. And now you want to sue TMZ for releasing the tape. But it's still up to the police department to release it to them. TMZ didn't control that 911 tape. The police do. You going to sue them too? Okay. You said they kept saying he was born in 90. Yeah, he's 34. You're going to be 35. Said the daddy even knew something was wrong. And then she hung up with the daddy and said, he keeps calling. Can we put him on three-way? Why would you hang up from him when you know his son is over there dead? See, I, I, what I said about her and them people coming attacking me. See, I was right the whole goddamn time. I'm glad I didn't back down. You're not going to punk me. I was right the whole fucking time. I knew I heard him. You people around my corner and you're in the bedroom. He would nip. And he said it. The daddy had to know. But they must not have been able to control it. Oh, CCB, you said the blogs is tearing our ass up. Yes, Andrew 316, you part of the play. Good afternoon, Monty B. I love you all. That love me and support me when people laugh and call me a liar and say I'm crazy. I'm begging for Popeyes today, goddammit. I think I want a chicken one and I want me a beef one. But so you can have the crust cooked golden brown on the outside and flaky. When I crack it open, I want that tender gravy and beef and shit to run out of it. So I can eat it for y'all. Goddammit, I'm begging, goddammit. I don't give a fuck what you say and what you know I'm begging. I, I think I, I don't want to, you know, them hoes down at the full county jail. They are the ch uh, chicken pot pie and pussy. You know, I, I, I think I want some, I want a beef pot pie today. I want some onion and gravy and tender carrot and peas in there with some beef chunk tender in there so I can eat it like I want to and get on the camera and smack like I want to. God damn it. So, so everything's pretty to you, I'll be true. Well, you know how they laugh, boss lady. You know how they like to make fun of me. I don't even give a fuck no more. I still do what I do. I don't even have no feeling about this shit. I understand. It's human nature because they can't see and they blind. They'll say you blind because your third eye open and theirs ain't. So you can see on the other side. So if they can't see it, you got to be lying, god damn it. Them the ones motherfucking blind as a goddamn bat. Yep, my whole side of me that I got in on restriction, she in time out. I ain't letting her have no dick, but I'm going to let her have some pot pie, though. I'm going to let her have some pot pie, goddammit. I'm a big and bitch. I'm going to keep on begging. Because everybody else that give out information, they have their cash up out, and they big, too, goddammit. And you don't say nothing to them. 
So y'all not going to come over here and fucks with me. Somebody said they got me. Y'all going to send me some months I can give me a pot pie. pie. <laughs> I ain't asking for much, God damn it. Just some donation and some food, God damn it. Some money and food I got to taste. My inner hole got to taste for some damn pot pie. That's all her hot ass is getting. <laughs> I love y'all. She said, my daddy used to say, don't expect a turtle to see what a giraffe see. Oh, my God. I love it. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> y'all, I'm tired as hell. These spirits been running me. Y'all be running me, God damn it. People been asking me for reasons. I, I don't have time. Because in between, I got these products. And did you see the babies? You see that lady, them pretty babies. I showed up there. She did the video. She came down and got us some products the other day. And uh, she got her pretty hair making them seasick with them waves. She took it. It's so pretty. Okay, y'all send me some money, give me some chicken pot pie, goddamn it. They don't they don't cost much. I don't feel like baking one of my own when I'm tired. I'll bake one eventually. Right now I'm just get me, I can order me one. You know, and I y'all, since y'all like to see me eat and smack, y'all be good to me. I'm trying to get myself together to come on the camera, at least say hello to you. So I'm gonna see how y'all treat me because I ain't seen y'all in months, baby. I've been so fucked up. So let's see how good y'all is to me. Make sure I get my medicine, take care of myself, so I can at least come on camera for a few minutes and say hello to you. Huh? Because see, Drip got to get that, that whip appeal back. Drip got to get that drip appeal back, goddammit. <sighs> hey, Mississippi. That was my dad and mama from Mississippi. And then went up to Detroit and had my dad up there, the late great Jackie Wilson. Oh, I'm so tired, y'all. But I have to do the work. And uh, he says, Sagittarius Moon. Oh, really? Thank you for telling me. God damn it. Okay. <laughs> I need to give me a t shirt that just said, God, Drip, God damn it. <laughs> Burr. It's cold in this bitch. Queen drip colder than a motherfucker in this drip. Burr, bitch. I got ice motherfucking sickles coming off me, bitch. I'm so cold. <laughs> I, a domestic cruise right here. Y'all always be right here. Thank you for loving me and supporting me. Oh, boy. I'm exhausted, y'all, but I still do the best I can. I'm going to come back. I'm going to see how y'all love me. I'm going to see how y'all donate to me and love me so I can get Rich Homie Kwan stuff with Nip, get the food from the flower, and I can get me something, too, and get me my pot pie like I said I want. So I can satisfy, you know, the little girl inside me and that in a hole, you know what I'm saying? Because I've been wanting. <laughs> I don't know why they get mad because y'all love me and support me. I ain't got nothing but God to love me and the spirits to love me. Other than that, y'all love me. They don't even want y'all to love me. They don't even want God to love me. But y'all still stay right here and you do. And I appreciate that and I love y'all back. So even when I'm tired, I still come get to you the best I can. Let me take a break. See if the young lady want to talk to me some more so I can wrap up this reading for. And uh, I'm going to see if y'all can, like them old people said, send me a piece of money. Send me a donation so I can get all the stuff they ask me for. Because see, if I'm good to them, you know they're going to give me this info. But I can't be good to them if y'all ain't good to me. And you see, I show y'all I don't be lying. When I say I'm going to get the candles, you see, I showed y'all them as new candles up there. God damn it. When I say I'm going to get the food, I show y'all the food up there. Whatever I say I'm going to get for them, but you but shit. A bitch got to eat too, god damn it. Now, I can't bring y'all these messages. Y'all don't make sure drip eat. Nah. Because I'm the one that's the messenger. Huh? So y'all got to look out for my ass too. So I can have a scram to give me some rest and clean my ass and come up here and tell y'all what they saying and transcribe the message accurately. 
Y'all see the hell they try to take me up under. I need some rest and food and shit too. Crow, I love y'all. I promise you, let me uh, wrap this up for her. And then I'm going to wait for y'all to, because I know y'all been trying. I know it's that you don't care. They were sending them back. So I'm going to see if y'all, if I get them now so I can go on and get their stuff between tonight and tomorrow, depending on what you're saying, to get them taken care of. I'm going to send you a picture of it because I'm going to do it so pretty. I love them and I respect them so much. Like they still in the body. That's how real they are to me because I see them and hear them walking through here. Rich homie Kwan's with Nip, he just relax. He walked through here like he know me. And they did not leave it. And I'm not going to make them leave. They can stay as long as they want to. But y'all, I got to be able to rest and have my strength. So I can talk to them and do what I need to do. I'm so tired. My body's so tired. They woke me up by 3 this morning. And I was sleeping off and on. I had to get up and pray. They, they be in here. And I'm not going <sighs> to... Jesus. I try to have strength to do it. But I, I used to be jealous. When I see people do this. Because I knew I could do it. But my mother was doing magic and stuff to block me. Because I, I was real clear at it when I was a little girl. And then my mother started to abuse me and her other children. And trying to block it. She was jealous of it. And that hit me. It hit me when I got back grown. That I had my son. It hit me. And it'll tear up your physical body. If you don't take care of it. I don't know how long I can do this. I'm tired now. I have to take then almost dying like that and recovering. It's been hell. But I love them. I, I don't know. After I do this here this year, I, I might go away. I don't, I, I don't think. I just, I'm tired. I'm tired. I've done but the best I can to hang on, but I'm tired. This will kill you if you don't take care of yourself because it pulls so much at your body. But I love it. I love it. There's nothing else I'd rather do. Oh, God. But I'm trying to get well at the same time. It's so taxing on my body. My physical body. I wish I had some more cheering so I could pass it to them. But goddamn it, I only got one. We'll see what his ass gonna goddamn it do. But I think I gotta stay here for him because I don't want him to kill his ass. Because he gotta learn to listen to mama and do what the fuck I say. Uh, I would love to see that happen. I hope my baby's got my gift. I would never be the type that was jealous of my, my child and don't want to see my child care wrong because my body can't be here forever. Huh? But I'm still too young to die. You know, it might be old to a lot of y'all, but fifth is too young to die. I got to take care of myself. So y'all got to bear with me and help me. Y'all got to send these goddamn donations so I can eat and take care of myself. I'm so goddamn tired. I, I had to make myself get up. I'm still tired. So I'm going to try to do this here. Y'all do what you can. To hit my cash up so I can buy the rest of their stuff, huh? And get this over. Or at least as much as I can for now. I don't know when they're going to have his funeral, but he's still talking and he got more messages. Rich homie Kwan. So I'm not taking on a lot of personal readings right now. It's too much on me. And just like I didn't know they was coming to Atlanta and said, hey, Drew, by I'm in Atlanta. Can you make me some kits? And so I had to do all this stuff at the last minute. And oh, I'm tired. Okay. Whew, I'm a one person, but that energy is so strong moving through me. Thank you, Jay Lauren. You said, show. I wish I was a caregiver or some to you, Miss Alexis, for real, just to help you around your house and stuff. Child, I wish I did have somebody help me. Oh, anyway, let me go get myself together, and um, I love you all, and I'll wait to see what you can do in the next couple of days so we can go on and finish his altar, finish the altar for him and Nip, 
and I could meanwhile I'll be listening to him and his other messages and uh, so I can bring them to you. Okay. Love y'all. I talk to you soon.